I um, decided to wear the most glam makeup look today even though I have nowhere to go. Story of my life. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I will be talking to you guys about the three books I believe that I finished in October and the fourth one that I'm still currently reading. Let's start with book number one that I finished in October. Finished that book on the 1st of October and that is Meat Market by Juno Dawson. This is a, one of my new favorite books of the year, maybe even of all time. I just love the subjects that are in this story. Oh my god, her first name is always really difficult to pronounce and I always forget it. We follow our main character, Jenna Novak, and when she is out and about with her friends, she gets scouted by uh, this model scout at a theme park out of nowhere. And uh, from that point on, we basically like follow her and her rise to fame because she becomes a super model, like out of nowhere, and you follow her like life throughout all of these big events in her modeling career and how she's keeping up with her friendships and with her relationships and all the struggles that she goes through like just how busy her life is but also the stress of being a model and body image this book was just so raw and honest and I loved it like i love love loved it the story sounded amazing and it was and i give this one a five out of five stars not a lot of people have read this book and i totally recommend you to do it if you want to have more like a very raw emotional ya contemporary novel checking my phone by the way for my goodreads <laughs> then the second book that i finished in october is the wicked deep by shea earnshaw look at this holographic foil i am such a sucker for holographic things i mean i think we all are i was all of a sudden feeling this kind of mysterious halloweeny spooky mood because obviously october halloween spookiness is everywhere during this month last year this book was so incredible popular and I decided to finally pick it up for myself and see if I liked it. I went into this book not expecting a lot because I did hear a lot of like mixed opinions about this. We follow our main character Penny and she lives in this town called Sparrow and Sparrow has been cursed for over 200 years right now because back in the 1800s these three sisters were drowned in the sea by the town of Sparrow. Well not by the town but by the people of the town of Sparrow. These sisters were rumored to be witches because they kind of like lured men into their beds and hmm, it must be a spell, you know? It's not just my husband cheating. They must be witches. <laughs> so they got drowned and now they are hunting the town of Sparrow. So every single summer, the three sisters come back and take a girl's body and they drown boys as like their revenge. So we follow Penny and then an outsider comes into Sparrow and their like paths cross and they start to really doubt each other. And that's all that I want to say about it. I like this book very much. I didn't love it, but I definitely enjoyed it more than I thought I would. I didn't have like a really big personal connection with any of the characters, but I just loved this curse and I really enjoyed the mystery. The writing style was really quite whimsical and I think that Shea Earnshaw did a really great job with creating this amazing spooky atmosphere. I really enjoyed that part of the story. So I gave this one, I believe, a 3.75 out of 5 stars, aka a 7.5 out of 10. I think that sounds a little bit more normal than a 3.75. <laughs> After reading The Wicked Deep, I was still in this kind of Halloween-y mood, but I do not have a lot of spooky books, except for this one, and that is City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab. This is the first book in a series? A trilogy? I don't know, but I thoroughly enjoyed this story. I enjoyed it, like, so much. Like, I didn't expect to be entertained by this story as much as I was. We follow our main character, Cass, and she can see ghosts. Actually, her best friend is a ghost called Jacob, who is so incredibly sassy. Let me tell you that. He is one of my new favorite characters that I've read in this whole year. And it's really funny because Cass's parents start hosting a TV show that is all about ghosts. Like her mom loves ghost stories and she kind of like believes in them. But her dad is more of like the factual person and wants to know more of like the details or the history of a certain building or city. During the summer, they are gonna go to Edinburgh and are gonna film this ghost TV show. And Cassidy gets wrapped up in into a really amazing adventure. Cassidy is a 12 year old girl and I believe that this book would be classified as a middle grade novel but I have to say it didn't read like a middle grade novel like 
that much. I wasn't like, oh, this is uh, written for younger children. I thought that Cassidy was a very wise and brave girl. I loved also that they were traveling to Edinburgh and I could really feel the whole like ambiance, ambiance of Edinburgh. And now I really want to go to that city. I really want to visit it. I don't know what to rate it on Goodreads. I put a four out of five stars down, but I might even give it a four and a half because it was so enjoyable and I got sucked into the story right away. And I actually really, really want to read the second book in this series, which is called Tunnel of Bones. I immediately wanted to buy it, but I'm kind of on a book buying ban, kind of a little bit. So I restrained myself from buying it, but I really want to read it in the next upcoming two months because then I'm still in this like wintry, spooky, mysterious vibe, you know? <laughs> okay, so those are the three books that I finished in October and I also read like 75% of another book and that book is The Opposite of Always by Justin A. Reynolds. I was so, so excited to read this book. I'm almost done with it right now. I was so excited to read this book because it's all about Jack and he is in love with Kate, but Kate dies and after she dies Jack gets stuck in this like time loop and he doesn't know why and he's like should I save Kate should I do this should I do that and he goes through this time loop a couple of times I, I'm gonna finish this book today like I only need to read 40 pages and I'm so on the fence about this book I have such mixed feelings and I really want to make a spilling the tea on video about this book because there are so many things that I don't like about it but then again it is quite like a quick enjoyable read so for now I'm like on the fence between a two and a half to a three out of five stars because there are definitely good parts but a lot of them um are just not my cup of tea <laughs> so I want to spill the tea it is kind of a little bit cute but it is really 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 cheesy it's uh, I just expected way better things from this one <sighs> okay so those are all the books that I wanted to talk about in today's video let me know in the comments down below if you've read any of the books that I mentioned or let me know what you read this month during October if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below thank you so much for watching and I hope that I will see you guys in the next one Bye!